let's talk about the roles we play. So today I caught myself being a little bit more avoidant than I normally am. So I started to look through my day for triggers, looking back what happened, what could it have been, and I found it. And it was what happened at Whole Foods. When I went to Whole Foods, you know how they have those lines of uh, ex express lines, 10 items or less, right? Now, I was not in that line, I was in another line, but someone who was in that line was this old Asian woman trying to pay for like 30 burritos, <laughs> 30 of those hand, <laughs> the handmade ones, like, you know, like Chipotle. And she had like 30 and she didn't even speak English. The store manager comes over. The store manager says something like, you do this every time. Too many items. This is less than 10 items. No more than 10. You have too many. And he's like, no, you go over there, over there. And then she starts like crying. And that's not the point of the story. But the point of the story is that I didn't have my caffeine yet. So I was tired and I was like, I'm not like dealing with this. I'm not like trying to get in the middle of this. Like, Whatever. So I, I just like walked out, which if you think about it, really puts myself, psychologically speaking, into an avoidant role. And imagine what happened when I went from that interaction into my next interaction and I carried with me that role of avoidant. Well, that to me makes sense as to why I acted avoidant for the rest of the day. So I figured it out. And then it made me think, you know, how else might we play roles? At any given point in a day, you have to you have to think, what role am I currently in, right? That's that's a, a high degree of self awareness, right? Seeing how you relate to the environment. I think back to uh, one of the Tony Robbins seminars that I went to, and uh, at one point Tony has everybody jumping up and down. Uh, they're going like this. He goes, say, I'm a leader. And everybody goes, I'm a leader. And then you're like, okay, everybody, you can sit down. Everybody sits down. And so the great irony is that they're saying I'm a leader while everything that their behavior is displaying is that they're a follower. So there's always a, a role that we're playing as long as we're relating to the environment, which includes other people, there's a role that we're playing. I did a very powerful lecture called The Roles We Play, and it's now a product on the website. So if you want more information about this topic, then just go check out existencefirst.com. But uh, for now, I'm just gonna give one more example, which is, there's this thing I've noticed, right, where if I read something before bed, maybe very empowering, and I feel like great and proactive, and I go to sleep and I wake up in the morning, sometimes I wake up like passive, and I think, well, why, how did that happen? I went to bed like very motivated, and now I'm waking up and I'm not motivated. So like, what happened? Well, I thought about this, and my theory is that when we're sleeping, right? Well, obviously we're dreaming, so when we're dreaming, we're playing a role, right? And our mind keeps track of that. So when you wake up in the morning, you get out of bed and you start going out, out into the day, you might be carrying with you some of the roles that you played in your dreams. So I guess the solution for that would be to choose what you dream about, which uh, I don't know exactly how to do right now, but I am in the process of experimenting, so as soon as I figure it out, expect a new video. Alright, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one.